Yo, what's going on fam? Today we're gonna to be doing an EDC video on everything that I carry from the technology that I use to produce content to the supplements that I use every single day on my show prep. So let's get right into the video, you guys. So firstly, we're gonna go ahead and start with my bag. Um, nothing too crazy going on here. It's a bag that I got from Amazon for about 40 bucks. Um, it has everything from the laptop compartment right on the bottom with the zipper. On the inside, um, I specifically got this bag because it has a couple of different pockets. You can kind of move things around. You can section it off for your lenses. You have a zipper up here that you can put smaller items in as well. It's kind of foamy on the inside, so it protects these kind of things. So if you don't want nothing busted, this kind of helps with that. So Bag number two, we have this flimsy little duffel bag. I've had this since I played football in high school. Um, it's done pretty good for me. Nike makes pretty quality stuff. It never really breaks on you. So this is where I keep all my clothes, supplements, my sweaty shit. Um, I try and keep it away from my technology just so that I'm, I'm not getting all that nastiness on my actual gear. This is what I use for my actual gym shit and then my other bag is for my tech and everything that I create content with. So let's go ahead, let's roll right into the supplements that I'm taking. My supplements just recently have changed. We actually went from gym subs to first form. This is very new to me. It literally happened within the last week so there will be a video about that in the very near future. But we're gonna go ahead, start with the protein. This is their vegan protein iced oatmeal cookie. It's pretty good. I mean, I can't complain. I can't really have whey protein or anything like that. So this is the vegan protein that they provided. You get your basic 25 grams of protein as well as your macros are pretty low for the carbohydrates. So nothing too crazy going on there. Next supplement we have. This is their ignition product. This is relatively new to me. I'm familiar with the formula simply because I've taken dextrose before. What this does is it helps deliver your creatine. Your creatine intake is extremely important. The creatine attaches to the sugar and what that does is it helps export that into your body. So. That's my little supplement stack. I don't take too many crazy things. Other than that, we're gonna go over the vitamins now. But before we do that, secret little formula, clear muscle. I've taken this a couple of times over the past couple of years. I took this four years ago when I first started lifting and I'm taking it now for my show prep. To be short with this, it really just helps with muscle recovery as well as it helps with retaining and stopping lactic acid buildup. Not gonna go too depth in that, but if you guys wanna see a little bit of video on that, let me know. Next up, we have our basic vitamins. Um, I take my D3 plus K2. You gotta have your alkaline metals within your diet. Ashwagandha complex to help with cortisol as well as keeping your stress levels down. Stress is very important and stress management is even more important when it comes to show prep and building muscle. You never wanna let yourself get too high with that. So we take that and then multivitamins. It's a very simple supplement to take, but if I'm being honest, it's extremely crucial to have multivitamins to help deliver nutrition and any other supplements you're taking. So if you don't have the foundation, you're not gonna have very good results in the future. So make sure you take your vitamins, kids. So while we're on the topic of health, not too many people know this about me, but I have over 20 different allergies. So on top of that, we have the inhaler. You guys know this from high school. I know everybody was puffing on this shit. And then I have my EpiPen. So I'm allergic to whey, eggs, soy, all kinds of different stuff. So I have to carry this every single day. It's basically an adrenaline shot. You stick this in wherever you can, but um, you're supposed to put it in your tush. I think I could do it in my shoulders. I'm big enough now. All right, so you guys see everything that I ingest on a daily basis. Let's go ahead and hop into the tech and the gear that I use to create the content every single day with you guys. Coming out of health and the things that I ingest on a daily basis, we're gonna go with the first tool. This is a little multi-tool. Um, it's got a couple cool little gadgets. It's got a flat head on it. It's got the needle nose, everything that you really need. I mean, it comes in handy with little things like boxes or if I need to separate something specifically, open up supplements, whatever it may be. Don't use that too often, um, but it does come in handy when you need it. The next piece of gear that I use on a daily basis is you gotta have a toolkit. Everybody's gotta have a toolkit. If you don't have a toolkit, you're not a fucking man. That's the way I look at it. But you gotta have this. I have to have this specifically. Um, it helps me take apart different pieces on my camera cage. That's my primary use for it. I really don't use it for anything else, um, but it's better than carrying around an Allen wrench, which I generally lose. So that's what I use. The next thing we have is we have our little road mic set we have a couple of mics in here shout out to poppy david he uh, sold this to me a little while ago 
but this is the mics that I use if we decide to do a mic'd up video or we're doing a workout and we want it to be a little bit more quality rather than using the pop mic that we stick on top of the camera. We just go ahead and use this Rode mic setup. Next up on the daily carry, we have this interesting little device right here. Um, you would never know it if you just took a peek at it, but my dad got me this a little while ago. And basically it's a little multi toolkit. So with this, you have every single different connection from USB-C, Lightning, Android. You have your SIM pop out card and you even have a USB-C to a USB 2.0 connection, as well as it comes with a cable, all inside of this very small casing. And this will even fit in your wallet if you have a big enough wallet, if you have a regular one. But this has come in handy several, several times that I have the wrong cable and I need to charge something or I need to transfer something. This has come in clutch countless times I can't even. This is a cool little device. If you guys want to check this out, the Amazon link will be in the description below. Next up, we have the storage devices. So David put me on to these. These are amazing. Samsung T5 portable SSD. I also use the Shield T7. This is the one I started off with. This one specifically I do like because the Velcro on the back makes it very easy. As you guys will see on my laptop that I use, um, this kind of makes it easy to carry around storage without having the hanging and dangling but you can see the difference between these as this one has a little bit more of a slick casing and this one has grooves in the silicone making it a little bit harder to attach things and the sticky Velcro on the back. So I do use these, both a terabyte. I don't know too much about the specs on these, but they're very quick, they're very efficient and they've served me well. So I would definitely recommend these, especially if you do not have that much storage on whatever device you may be using. Uh, we have the headphones. This is kind of just a step into the workout space again. I am in love with these headphones. I am a big bass addict. So these are the Skull Crusher Evos. They came out about two years ago around Christmas. I haven't heard of Skull Candy since high school. So I checked these out. They said they were really big on bass. Um, they're really comfortable. The noise canceling is and the bass is pretty crazy. You could literally leave these on the ground and you could feel them vibrating. So I love these headphones. I've been using them every single day for everything from editing, working out, whatever the case may be. They're great. And um, if you're a bass addict like me, I think you should check these out, but they're hard to get sometimes. So get them while you can. All right, you guys. So time for my favorite part. I have the Apple M2 MacBook Air. Um, if you guys know anything about me, I've always been into gaming and I really loved having a tower. Um, but recently I've switched to this. It just makes it so much easier when I can edit on the go. It's portable. It's light. The plugins are very easy. The airdrop feature makes it very easy. A couple of my favorite things about this is it's really good for editing unlike a power where you have to continually upgrade the RAM you have to continue upgrade the storage this comes with the eight core CPU with eight performance cores which is very efficient as well an eight core GPU with a 16 core neutral engine so that allows it to operate on multiple different cores you can have multiple different tabs open and it handles it pretty well for what it is. Not to mention I can be in Lightroom while rendering something in Adobe and it actually does a pretty good job. So that is the laptop that I'm using to create all the content that you guys see on a daily basis. This is why I'm doing YouTube, Reels, every single platform as well as this is what I manage my business on. So, and um, of course it's gotta be blue. Everything's gotta be blue. My headphones are blue, everything's blue. Love it. Next, we have the case for the laptop. Um, pretty simple shit. Uh, we have the zipper on the top where you can put your little accessories. Um, I have my cloth for cleaning as well as I have my USB-C to SD transfer. Um, I put everything in here. Most of my transfer cables are in there as well. So I got this from Amazon for 20 bucks. Um, it has padding on the back specifically to make sure it braces as well as the corners. Um, I really can't complain. It's, it's a great laptop case and it keeps it safe, so that's what matters. Then we have some USB-C transfer cables that I carry on a daily basis. I carry my personal drive and my work drive on me, so you gotta have these at all times. As you guys know, if you're a content creator, oftentimes our phone does end up juiced out by the end of the day, or at least a couple times over throughout the day. So I do carry a portable charger, this right here. Um, you can plug it into the wall, charge it. You can just press this. You can get it going. It's pretty hefty. I've been using this for a while. This portable charger has two USB plugins, which is great. It gives you options as well as I pair this with this little gadget that I have right here. And sometimes you can go from USB to USB-C, but this comes in handy as my phone dies four to five times or four to five times over it would die, but I keep it alive with this. So we have the tripod. When you are in the gym filming alone, because nobody else wants to come with you at 2 a.m. in the morning, you gotta have a tripod. This is pretty good, I love it. I've been using it for a while, it's very easy to set up. You just pop this right out, 
and you can pop it right back in. It has this nice grip right here as well as, it's, it just does its job so well, I love it. It's much better than the average kick out and the legs breaking, it's very sturdy. It has a great feel to it, as well as I want to point out this top piece right here. It gives you a lot of mobility. Um, there's a lot of control with it. You can have it on a steep, you can have it on a hill, you can have it at weird angles, and you can have it really low to the ground. Most tripods, you kind of get five feet off the ground and you're stuck there with uh, locked in positions. This gives you options. And finally, we have the workhorse of everything. You guys see all the content from here. You guys see everything I post from here, updates literally everything. The iPhone. So don't laugh at me, iPhone 12. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's the iPhone 12 Max. It's a little bit bigger. Haven't updated to the 14 yet. I think we're gonna wait for the 15 and we're gonna go ahead and go with that. But not too many stats on this. Uh, great camera. It, I use it sometimes, kind of running out of storage, but I bought a terabyte of iCloud storage. Does its job. You guys see everything from here and this has basically been what's pulling everything for the past year and a half. Um, but that's what I use. And then lastly, we have the keys. As you guys know, I'm a big Benz fan. You got Benz right here, you got Benz right here, you got Benz right here. I love the fucking stars. I won't drive anything less than a Benz, but that's just me. If you guys ask David, he'll tell you the Tesla's better. This is everything that I carry on a daily basis on my way to show prep in July, August, and October. This is what I'm gonna be using every single day to create content, work out, and get better each and every day. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did or you have any questions about the products that I use, feel free to comment below and I'll be happy to get back to you guys as well as help you guys out. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Subscribe, comment below, and leave a like if you feel like it, but mostly just subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. Jeez. We're done.